Good morning, gentlemen. We have a fun project today. Everything that I said about the workstation being over there to the right of the fireplace, I've thrown out primarily because I've had a lot of guys tell, you, tell me that that was going to be a mistake, that that was not centrally located to the shop and that you should probably work somewhere in the middle. So we're doing it right here today. It's decided. I'm not changing my mind. We're done. Jack, bless him, is asked to help me. I thought I could do this myself and I'm just not physically able to do it. So we should be able to do this pretty quick. We're gonna build a curb and the idea is, to, is we're gonna build in the blue snap-on box I got off Craigslist Marketplace. I bought this specific box. I looked for it for a long time because it had a couple things that were really crucial to the workstation, which we'll get into when we start loading it. But right now, um, here's your cut sheet. Mm -hmm. Can you start cutting four by fours? Jack's gonna to go to work on that and we'll get it built and hopefully get that box set today. While Jack gets to work on that cut sheet, let's take a look at our toolbox and how we're gonna manage the electrical. This is great because now you've got a spot for all your cordless tools and you've got USB and regular plugs there, five plugs where you can put all your charges in. You don't have cords and just that big mess all over your workstation, everything is confined. These earmuffs are great. Aren't they nice? They cut out so much volume. They're, it's like, they're like twice as good as the other ones. They're excellent. They're the 3M Peltors and they're only like 12, 14 bucks. Yeah, it's like having noise canceling on. <clears throat> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got the old boost block countertop right here that we had before that was, I found to be a little bit too small. Once we, once Jack builds the toe kick, We'll take the wheels off and it's going to drop this down to about 41 inches, 42 inches, which is about perfect bar height because as it sits, it's too high on its wheels. Then once we get that established, we'll be able to put, we'll take off the handles and clean everything up here. We'll continue this at the same level and we'll have another six feet all the way across there to the wood stove. That'll get us 12 feet of counter space and a place where we can roll a garbage can underneath or work at like a workstation by putting your knees in because you can't put your knees in to a bank of drawers. And that's something that I've been kind of missing. The anchor holes I drilled for the pedestal grinders, I just tapped them in. I over drilled them so they went away. They're, these two are sticking up here. So we'll just grind those off flush real quick. Hot. Ow. Boy, that thing tore my hand up. Dang. Filled my hand full of fiber. I think I'll get some gloves. Ouch. I see some remnants from Mama Kitty's butchering last night of mice. Was that a little lung I saw or a liver? Knowing her, maybe both. Maybe both. Here we have 54 and then I went to about between 11, 11. and 3 quarters. Perfect. So it's halfway between that. Uh -huh. Same for that. And then for these it's 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I didn't, I didn't sleep very much last night. Push it tight now so you don't run out of stroke. Mm -hmm. Take your square on the inside, make sure you're just reasonably square. Running hard. Excellent. Look, looks great. Is yeah. it flush on the top? Yep. All right, hand me the drill. Get your, get your screw ready. Get all the tools, everything out of the way, and let's flip it over and put it back into position. And let's uh, mark where the hole's gonna be for the electrical plug. You need to know exactly where this center of this plug is. No mama, sorry. 19 and a half? Yeah. And how far off the side right here to the center? 
19 and a half, and then five four, and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and get your pencil and uh, do a cross right where the center of that is. Where you at here? Uh, that would confuse me. I'd have no idea what you had going on. Mm -hmm. What I'd like to see is you mark this way like that, and then you mark this way like that. So the bigger one. So what I typically do with this is is find one that's going to fit through, right? I wouldn't go too tight mm -hmm. because if you're a little bit off, then you all messed up. So oh. I usually just you maybe even jump up a size. So this this one's tight, then I'd probably go with this guy right there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you've done these before. Have you done these? How these work? Uh, I mean, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, so I don't know if I've used them. This is the arbor for the small, the little guys. Mm -hmm. And then the bigger ones, you can tell they have multiple holes in the bottom, where these don't. Mm -hmm. Or the holes are on the outside of these. So grab the one that's appropriate. And how these guys work is you screw them in. Not all the way. And do you see how the pins go down with this one? Mm -hmm. You have to line them up and get the closest one. So I'll go in until it runs out of thread and then back it out until you line up there, mm -hmm. and then run this guy in. And that locks it in. And that locks it in. Nice. Nice, okay. Now we gotta fish that cord through. Our cord is not gonna be long enough though, is it? Okay. Shake your rattle can for about 60 seconds with the marble before you paint. And stand behind where the wind is going. Stand behind the wind's going, yeah. exactly. All right, you paint that. And no. do I need to wear a mask or should I be fine? If you're standing behind the wind, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. And you do that and I'll, uh, I'll add onto this guy. Okay, so this side, this side, all the way across. Yep, take your so pencil. Make an L. Pen take your pencil, put a mark here and a mark there and just to remind you which side you want to paint. Oh no, this is our impact. Our rotary hammer that we no longer need. I guess we will need it in the future. Smaller than I thought it was gonna be. It is so little. Well, I'm excited to try that out. Proper SDS Riddle hammer. And if you can hook it with this guy? Yeah, well that's why I want the tip, is so that way, because right now we've got tons on both sides, so it won't let us fold it in. It'll bend, so if you hook it with this, you can bend it through. Just yeet it out. Sacrificial. Yeah. This side won't go through without tipping. Yeah, just tip it, do what you have to do to snag it. Nice. Nice. Okay, let me grab some tape. So what we'll do now, Jack, is, is we'll uh, tape this up to it, or we could probably just wrap it like this here. It's not going to come loose. I'd rather tape it if you don't mind. I wouldn't want to do that twice. Give it a pull. Should I pull it through? I think it will go through. Okay. Drya, I'll, you can say I told you so if it doesn't work. No, I don't want to say that. If we've got it once, we can get it again, right? Mm -hmm. Staying slow? Yeah. It's only six feet, not 200. Also goes better if we do this together at the same time. Well done, gentlemen. Have them take it up to a height that's comfortable for you to get under there with the ratchet. Ready? Go. Oh. Put my hand under there. 
pick up those screws gets more yeah, when you when you work when something's lifted with hydraulics if one of these hoses breaks or anything I know, I else stay out of it. coming down so always put yourself in a position where you're if it comes down it's not going to get you yeah so i'm over here yeah. now if it's up on cribbing and blocks then of course you don't have to worry about that as much at all all right push it tight and dry if you'd grab the drill and uh, a couple screws let's we'll throw a couple screws against the wall just toe nail them in there two screws you never want to get in between a happy and a crush point just as a rule if something were to happen and a guy steps on the gas he could kill you so stay out to the side not that Jariah would do that but things happen all right go ahead Bring him in, Jack. And you're watching that plug. I am. So we'll get a couple inches away from it and then we'll straighten it out. <sighs> okay, we'll be right there. Now reach, now before you go any further, Jack, lean over the top and reach in there and, and make sure that your plug is still plugged in tight and you're looking good. What are they doing here? We're building some a workstation. Yep, and we're on the right level too. Okay. So if you want, if you need to, we can come endo here and get you a little bit closer to the cabinet if it's what you need to get it in the hole. I've still got two and a half, two, two fingers width. So okay. we could go into one fingers width. I think I then, see yep. some. I wouldn't put it so it's touching, but if it was close, that'd be fine. I think I see something. Welcome. You caught us at a, at a critical moment here. No, you could, we're, we're almost done. We just have to set it in place. I'm going to go in. For better or for worse, it is in. How many times did it take us to put it, how many times did we take it out and put it back in? Four-ish. Because that Four. last time when we had to slide it out partially, that counted. Oh my goodness, the wall was crooked. So what, what we didn't realize is the weight is not carried on the outside edges. No. <laughs> there are what they call big trunnions underneath there. Yep, so we had to take it out and uh, well, how much did you cut off the, the bottom, the base? Uh, it was like half, half inch. inch. Yeah. Half inch or so. And then we didn't have it spaced off the back far enough, so we got to pull it out again. We spaced it a half inch, and now it is in, level, and good. But man, that was a job. How many hours did that take? That took five hours. Five hours, good. We're three. expecting two or three. And we got a nice toe kick. Yep. Man, that's gonna be awesome. So tomorrow, we can get the boost block top right there, and then we'll have, what, 12 feet of counter space, and then we'll have the ability to get your knees under there like a desk, um, and roll a garbage can under there, and. I think that would be better. Mm -hmm. What would you do different next time, Jack? Uh, be gone when I ask you to help? Yeah, I think I'd, I'd make a trip into town for five hours. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Uh -huh. All right, gentlemen, well, that's it. And hopefully tomorrow, Lord willing, we'll get the other side in. We'll have a really nice workstation there. Mm -hmm.